everyone welcome back to my channel so i wanted to pop in here quickly and talk to you guys because this has really been pressing on me and this past weekend i was talking to my friends it's like 1 pm in the night so i'm definitely gonna be mellow and talk slowly i feel like this topic is something that needs to be talked about and most times as maybe adults we don't really talk about this topic and um i was actually talking to a few friends of mine this weekend and for some reason i don't know why a lot of people feel like um once a woman gets to a certain age you know you have to be talking about marriage you have to be talking about kids you have to be talking about your husband and things like that and it's funny how most times you know the single ladies always think that the married ones are kind of living the life and you know they they, they dream to have what the married ones have and let me tell you guys like I was talking to you know my friends over this weekend and they kept lamenting about you know that after school they are working you know and everything and you know no husband yet they are still expecting her you know to get married and things like that and I was actually telling them I said to be honest like marriage is not really what it's all about as a woman you know it's funny how the society always makes a woman believe that once you go to school you graduate you come out the next thing will be marriage you just have to get married I remember during our own time you know we would especially during our final year like our final year um, exam a lot of us no our final year was our um, final year exam was approaching and a lot of us you know we kept saying oh my gosh that we don't want to finish from school and go back to our parents house majority of us were like oh my gosh we want to finish from school and go straight to our husband's house and of course some of us married even while we even while we were in school and to be honest you know sometimes when I think back and Kind of, I remember, you know, I have all these amazing memories with my friends back in school and I would really say that our mentality, like my mentality back then was really according to my age because if I was, if kind of things were fast forwarded to now, I probably not, you know, have maybe said things like that you know just finishing school and going to your husband's house and things like that because that's not what it's all about you know for me i always feel like having been married for almost 10 years now i would say that like marriage is not just kind of a companionship or just to have a partner there is more to marriage you know marriage is a life is, is a lifetime commitment so you want to be sure of the the decisions you're making the person you want to spend the rest of your life with you know because yeah that is one thing about like the divorce rate if you guys notice the divorce rate right now is so high because everybody just want to get married and just try it if it doesn't work i so much believe that back in the day you know during our parents time they had the patience and the you know they are less selfish on like our generation you know you just get married if you try one year two years three years if it's not working you just divorce you know that is why divorce rate is so high right now because people are just getting married for getting married sake and even the people that are not married really wants to get married and i'll really say that you know before you think about settling down especially for people who are over 30 years old you know because according to the human mentality especially africa like once you clock the age of maybe 28, 29, 30, they always see those category as late marriage. And sometimes I wonder who actually defines which one is early marriage and which one is late marriage. Like marriage is marriage. There is no early or late. Whenever you find your lifetime partner, that is what matters. If you're happy, that is what matters. It's not just about getting married for getting married sake or maybe my friends are getting married and i'm the only one left you know i always find this a lot among young people you know they among young people they will always say oh my gosh this person is married the other person is married the other person is married and to be honest with you guys okay they are married okay probably after a year or two they'll have their kids right fact is they will never marry your own husband for you they will never have your own kids for you so whenever your husband comes along you know 
you get married and you have your own kids so this mentality of this person is getting married the other person is already married the other person has been married with kids and things like that I so much believe in like in like developing yourself you know marriage these days is not just you getting married and entering inside a man's house and you relax the man will cater for you and the kids you have to be up and doing and I so much believe that the right time to get yourself in that frame of mind of being an active person is while you're single you know if okay so what if you finished school if you finish school look for a job get a job or do something you know just get, get keep yourself busy and still at the same time pray for god to send the right partner because sometimes when we are so much in a rush we end up with the wrong people i have friends who got married like two three four years ago and already one of them is already divorced and the other person she keeps complaining you know you want to make sure that you this is a lifetime commitment it's not something you just do and try if it's not working then you'll come out no when you're entering into a marriage you have to know that it's a lifetime commitment so there's not supposed to be a rush at all and also as an african i know our african parents they always like majority of them are like this you know once you get into the age of you know 28 29 30 they are like what's going on some parents even start having kind of um you know they start even asking the person like what's going on when are you getting married and things like that please as parents let's you know try as much as possible to support our girls because i always say girls because this is more like this is much more pronounced with girls you know people i don't think parents actually give a lot of a lot of concern with boys than girls you know they are always concerned about girls oh this person is you know my daughter is not is not married yet and things like that you should be more focused on your daughter being the best of herself because when you're the best of yourself then you'll be able to you know enter into a marriage and make the marriage the best of what it's supposed to be but when you're not even sure of yourself like how are you going to make your marriage work i got married at an if as a, at a very tender age and you guys to be honest i would say i'm one of those lucky people that made the right decisions because I got married at the age of 21 so imagine 21 years old you guys like it's crazy right like 21 that was when I got married so I always feel like what of if I if I made the wrong decision you know of and as at that 21 I already had like five suitors like I've had like repeating suitors you know people that wanted to marry me even well while i was in college a lot of you know guys came to marry me and then when i finished college i had to i started dating my husband while i was in college and then after i graduated we got married but the fact is sometimes especially when we are in our early 20s i so much believe that not every woman actually knows what she once at that you know early 20s we're just floating in the air we're just having fun we're just enjoying ourselves we don't actually know ourselves you know self like knowing yourself really i don't believe that at early early 20s you already know yourself talk more of knowing who is right or who is wrong for you you know that is like what i think so whenever i think about that i'm like oh my gosh like what of if i had made a mistake with you know choosing my life partner at that early age but i thank god because my husband is actually heaven sent but the main reason i wanted to do this video is probably to talk to somebody i'm not sure who i'm talking to today but please you know this thing of this person is already married the other person is already married like relax invest more on yourself it's always good to invest in yourself while you're waiting for your husband to come of which you know they will come but spend time you know knowing yourself investing in yourself cultivating things even hobbies you know people always say oh people just ha have hobbies at an early age no even at as an adult you can develop some hobbies that you don't even know so just you know i would always say that it's better to invest in yourself you know before marriage to be honest with you um i will probably say i'm one of those lucky people that ended up with the right person you know even though i chose him when i was much more younger when i didn't even know what marriage was all about all i knew was i just finished school i probably would have gotten a job and gotten married that was all i knew back in the day but right now if i was to fast forward it like if i was to go back in time i would really say that i would have finished school come out you know work invest like you know spend time with myself know myself more and things like that before getting married but the thing is 
probably if I had chosen to do something like that, I would have missed my husband. So it's all in God's hands. I will always say, you know, at the end of the day, it's all in God's hands. And it's only God that knows the best partner for you. And it's only God that will bring the best partner for you. But in a situation whereby we are always faster than our shadows, you know, we just want it to happen right now. What if God wants you to get married in three years or in four years or in five years? But for, for you, you want to get married like right now, like right now. And that is why a lot of first end up with the wrong people. So please, let's just, you know, let's relax. Let's keep keep everything in the hands of God. I'm talking to my family too. I'm talking to my sisters. I'm talking to my cousins. Because this thing about competition, about this person is getting married and the other person is getting married. It's just, it's just getting out of hand, you guys. So I wanted to quickly jump in here and talk to you guys. I'm not sure, like I said who I'm talking to and I'm sure my friends will be watching this because I told them I would treat this topic here on my channel because yeah we were all it was just crazy the way they were complaining I'm like the right person will come you don't want to be in a rush and then end up in the wrong situation so yeah you guys just you know invest in yourself spend time knowing yourself do things for yourself while in the wait because I so much believe that God's time is the absolute best you don't want to like bring push time from God's time to your own time and then you end up making a mistake and everything just becomes so unbearable you know you want to end up in the right situation the situation that God has ordained and planned for you because if you believe in God you know that he will never choose something wrong for you or give you the wrong partner once you believe in him and once you trust in him but yeah guys this is what I wanted to pop in here quickly and talk to you guys about because I'm not sure who I'm helping or who is going on who is under depression just because of this marriage thing like who 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 even said that every woman will get married like come to think of it because I know some women that would straight up like they would tell you that they're not interested in marriage you know and they, they, they mean it you know marriage is not for everybody and if you see somebody that is already up to the age of getting married please stop asking when are you getting married and things like that because it's really you know it's annoying just imagine okay just just assume it as to a woman who is looking for the fruit of the womb like you know a woman who is looking for a child and then you just keep asking her are you pregnant are you pregnant like it's at a time you will get under her nerves you know so please let's just be conscious of that stop asking people when are you getting married or oh, your mates are get our all married and things like that and we all have our own race to run please you guys i hope this video would be able to help one or two people out there but yeah this is exactly what i wanted to talk to you guys about and till my next video i will see you all very very soon bye